Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, I'll be there on the double. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, I'll be there on the double. Pa -pa 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 Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol are here to help me today because we've got the sound or as in paw. <laughs> Come and listen, listen to me. Listen to my ABC. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABC. Let's have a game of Paw Patrol. Who needs rescuing, we'll see. Yeah, we're going to have a game of Paw Patrol. So I've had the Paw Patrol gang have a go at writing the first sound of their names. We're going to match it and whichever one's missing is the one that didn't make it to writing their name. So they must need rescuing. You ready to help me? Fantastic. Well done, Paw Patrollers. Okay, so here are the Paw Patrollers that made it to writing the first sound of their name. And you'll notice that their first sound of their name is a capital letter because it's their name and they're important. So they need a capital letter at the beginning of, the, of their name. So let's take a look. First off, we've got, who's this? It's Tracker. So what does Tracker begin with? Well done, it's a T. So we're looking for a capital T. And there it is. Well done. Well spotted, everybody. So let's join Tracker to T. Well done, T for Tracker. Who have we got next? Oh, it's Sky. So where's our sound that starts Sky? What does it begin with? Well done. It begins with a S. So we need to find a S for Sky. Yay, well done. So let's join the sky to the s for sky well done who we've we got next this is yeah it's marshall isn't it so we're looking for the first sound of his name which is marshall well done it's an mm. we need to look for m mm for marshall where's an m mm for marshall yeah there it is well done so we'll join marshall to the m mm for marshall who's this Oh, that's Rocky, isn't it? So we need Rocky's first sound of his name. What does that begin with? Rocky. Well done. It begins with an R for Rocky. So where's that? Where's R for Rocky? Oh, here it is. This is a capital R. So we join Rocky to his capital R. And who's this one? That's Everest. So what does Everest begin with? Well done, it's F for Everest. Can we see an E anywhere? Anyone see a capital E? Yes, well done, there it is. This is the capital E. So we're gonna join Everest to the capital E. And then who's this guy here? This is Chase. So we're actually going to be looking for a digraph now. We need to look for Ch for Chase. Let's see if we can find ch, the sound ch. Well done. Here it is. And you'll notice that it's only the capital C. It's not both the letters in this digraph that are capitals. It's only the first letter of the name that's a capital, not the whole sound. So ch is the beginning of the name, but C is his capital letter. So we're going to join Chase to the digraph ch. Well done, everybody. So who's missing? Well, I was dressed as Rubble, so I, I can make up for Rubble's place. There's one missing. Oh, you know who it is? It's this letter that we were missing. What's this sound? Yes, it's Z for Zuma. Zuma's missing. Does anybody know where Zuma is? Where's Zuma? He's stuck. Where's he stuck? He's stuck in the mystery bag. 
Why is he stuck in the mystery bag? He thought we were playing the mystery bag game. Oh, he didn't get the memo that we were doing it on the board. We better get him out of the mystery bag. Thank you, Chase. Thanks, Paw Patrol. Here he is. I found him. Zuma was in the mystery bag. <laughs> but actually, he found a word that we could have a go at spelling today. One of our tricky words, didn't you, Zuma? Let's have a look at the one that you found. It matched your clothes, didn't it? The orange colour of your clothes. So this is the tricky word that Zuma would like us to have a go at spelling today. So let's look at it. Let's say it. Me. Let's cover it. Let's have a go at writing it. So me. And it's that sneaky E again, isn't it? I think. And Zuma, are you going to help us to show it? Ready? Let's see if we were right. M -m -e -e. Yay! Me! So we've had a go at spelling all of those words recently. He, me, she, we, be. Do you remember when we learnt those? When we learnt to read them and we had to do them really quickly. He, me, she, we, be. Well, now we've been able to have a go at spelling them. So well done. Okay, let's have a look at our new sound for today. So today I chose to think about Paw Patrol because the sound that we're looking at today is in the word paw. And it's this. You may say, no, Mrs. Farr, we've already done the or sound when we did e or, e or. We have looked at that sound. It looked like this. We did have a go at that one. But this is another way of making the or sound. So we're not going to think about that one today. We're going to be thinking of this one. Or, as in poor. And this one often is seen at the end of a word. It can be seen in the middle of a word, like yawn and yawn. Sorry if I made you yawn. <laughs> but this is the sound or. It's got an A and a W. So let's have a go at writing them. So here we go. We're going to go around, up and down for the A, and down, up, down, up, flick for the W. I'm going to try it in rocky colour green now. So we go around, up, and down for the A, down, up, down, up, flick for the W. So, my turn or your turn or my turn or your turn. Well done. So this is the sound or as in Paw Patrol. The Paw Patrol team have got some words for us to have a go at reading. They're looking after them at the moment. They're going to let you see. So have a go. See if you can spot the or sound in the words that they've got. Okay, so these Paw Patrollers have got some words with or in them that they'd like us to have a go at reading. So let's start with you, Sky. What word have you got here that you'd like us to read? So we move Sky out of the way. Thank you for looking after it, Sky. So we've got So here's the or sound in the middle. So I'm going to have a go now. Ooh, on. Lawn. Lawn. Your grass. The grass in the garden. They need cutting with a lawn mower. So this is the word lawn. Thank you, Sky. Let's have a look at Marshall's word. So we'll move you out of the way, Marshall. Here we go. Thank you. So I can spot the or sound here. And this is j. So, so j or jaw. Jaw. Your jaw. I'm moving my jaw at the moment as I speak. Thank you, Marshall. Everest, you've got a word for us? Okay, oh, sorry, Chase. Let's move you gently, Everest. Thank you for looking after this word. Let's have a go at this one. So I can see the or sound at the end again. Let's have a go. So we've got cl. I'm blending those two together. So cl. So cl or claw. Everest, you have some claws, don't 
don't you? On your end of your paws. Claw. And Chase, you've got one for us. Let's move you out of the way there. Thank you, Chase. So again, or is at the end of the word. So have a go at this one. Well done. So or saw. You may say, I saw Chase. Or you may be thinking of a tool called a saw that would cut wood. And then, Rocky, you've got a word for us, and I can see that your word begins with an er, like your name. So let's have a go at this one. In my turn, er, or, raw, raw. Not raw as in raw, but raw as in, oh, that food is raw. I like to eat a raw carrot. Well done, everybody. You spotted the words. And you spotted the awe sound in them. And you had a really good go at reading them. And thank you, Paw Patrollers. What's this? A message. Half of it's missing. Can you help me read it? To p or paw p at pat r or Ooh, patrol to poor patrol oh it must be patrol to poor patrol help to oh we've got to freeze when we see this sound resk resk ooh rescue or rescue you help to resk you rescue the s how do we know what to rescue what could it be beginning with a s that needs rescuing could it be a seal stuck in a rock pool it couldn't be the sh diagraph because it would have a stick here for the for the h in sh did see a seal when I was on the beach with the poor patrollers earlier. Could be the seal stuck in the rock pool. You may have another idea. See if you can have a go at finishing the message off. What could it be? What could it say? To Paw Patrol, help to rescue the s What could it be? The seahorse. sandcastle that's about to get swallowed up by the sea. I'm going to have a go at seal stuck in a rock pool. See what you can have a go at. You don't have to use my end of my message but I'm going to have a go at seal stuck in a rock pool. I'm going to try and finish it off. So seal s e o. I know that the word seal is the new e diagraph so it's an e and an A. S E O seal finger space stuck. S T A uh. S T A uh. K stuck in I N finger space and the T H E T H E T-H-E spells the seal stuck in the finger space rock pool. So I'm going to do rock pool. R-R-K. And then the next bit of the word pool. Ooh. Well, this doesn't really make sense on its own, but I'm sure it could finish off the message. It could go... Like that. To Paw Patrol, help to rescue the s eel, seal, st -uck, stuck in the r -ock, rock p -ool, pool. The seal stuck in the rock pool. 
Sounds like the emergency services may be here already. Paw Patrollers, you can help too, can't you? Help to rescue the seal stuck in the rock pool. If you think of a different way to finish that message off, I'd love to see it, because I could send the Paw Patrollers on their mission. Thank you for helping me learn a new sound today. I learnt the or sound. It was an A and a W. And I'm definitely going to be looking for that sound the next time that I watch the Paw Patrollers. See you soon. You're all good pups and you saved the day. And now it's time to play around the bench today. Pop, 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 pop,